everybody, Anne here, just sitting here on my porch, having coffee with all of you, listening to the beautiful sounds. This time in the morning is just the best. It's it's so quiet, and it's there's no wind in the trees. I can hear the birds and a rooster. The rooster, Mr. Lucas Rooster, every once in a while. It's nice. It's really nice getting up early first thing in the morning. And But you know what? This Tennessee weather is kind of weird. It's a little chilly this morning. But thank goodness I have my beautiful soft coat I get to wear, jacket rather. Someone had asked me how I built my rocket stove. So today I'm going to disassemble it, clean it out, out, it needs it anyhow, and put it back together so you can all see how I did it. Now there's many different ways you can build a rocket stove. You just choose the best way for you. I'm just going to show you how I did it because it's been working really great. So today, well, I do know for sure that I want to check my worm bin because I had put some hair in it, I don't know, like a week ago or so, and I want to see if the worms are actually eating it. So we're going to check that out. I've got to do a little bit of door dashing today to make some money. And um, aside from that, well, I've got a few other things I want to get done. So <sighs> I'll take you along where I can. I'm not going to bore you with my door dash day, <laughs> but you know, a girl's got to bring home the bacon. So, you know what, I'm gonna get this day started. As you can see, I dismantled the rocket stove behind me, so now I'm just gonna put it back together so you can see how I did it. And that's how I built my rocket stove. Let me know how you built yours. I love that thing. I really do. I love my wood burning stove too. I've just got it covered up because it's been raining and I didn't get a chance to clean out the inside so I didn't want to get all yucky in there. But uh, I don't know, later tonight if I have time, I may cook some lasagna in my new Coleman Camp oven over the top. And I think I'm gonna put it right where that cast iron skillet is and uh, well, just see if I can control the fire to keep the the um, temperature consistent. So I don't know. We'll see if I can get it done. The next thing I got to do is 
check it. I got my warm shirt on that was given to me by AJ at AJ's Green Topics. I have to go check my warm farm and see if they ate my hair. All right, this is my first time using my tripod for my worm bin. And oh my goodness, these worms have been pretty darn active. All right, this is the spot over here that I put my hair. And I can see there's still some left. So let me just gently remove the soil to see if they they ate my hair, which is kind of gross. Um, well, they haven't eaten it all, but they seem to like it. They seem to really, really like it. And I don't know if you can see, but they're laying cocoons in it. And there's worms that are just kind of like hanging out in it. So, I don't know. It does look, it does look like they're eating it. Oh, there's a big cocoon. Can you guys see that? See, I can't see it. Look at that big cocoon. Oh, ho, 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 my goodness. So, it looks like they have turned quite a bit of this hair. I hope you can see it. <laughs> quite a bit of this hair into worm castings. There is just very little hair left and it's all worm castings. So that is great. I'm just gonna kind of move this off to the side and underneath, there's another cocoon there. Oh yeah. And let's see how many worms I've got. There are, oh God, there's so many cocoons. I'm gonna have a ton of baby worms. There is a lot of baby worms. There was a big earthworm. And you know what? I have been finding worms from all over my property. Oh, look at, look at baby, baby worms. Ton of ones that have just hatched. I have been finding worms, big earthworms. I found a big one. It was like huge. And I just stuck it in my worm bin. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of worms in here. So many cocoons. So many cocoons. And this worm bedding is starting to get eaten by the worms. They will eat this stuff. Every handful I bring up, there are more cocoons. Come on, big earthworm, where did you go? Because this is a combination of earthworms and red wigglers. So I've got a little bit of each in here. There it is. Oh, it looks like a snake. I found this one on the floor of my shed. Can you all see that? Can you see them? On the floor of my shed, and I put them in here. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is the one that's laying all those big, huge, uh, you know, cocoons. All right, little wormies. I think I've disturbed you enough. I'm just going to let you grow and do your thing. And a few of you are going to go fishing with me very, very soon. This is what I'm cooking in the rocket stove today. Actually, on top of the rocket stove, in the oven. And what it is, it's my version of spinach feta cheese lasagna. Except it's chicken spinach feta cheese lasagna. Except without spinach. I use dandelion greens. I've got so many of them and they're delicious. So I'm going to cover this up with foil and get this out there and start cooking it. It started to rain so I came to the back where this little shield thing is so I can sit out here in the rain and do this. So I've turned the stove around. I had heated up to 400 and it's back down to yep right around where I want it about 350. So I'm going to try and keep it at about this temperature between 350 and 375 for oh, about 30 minutes and then I'm going to check it and uh, probably take the foil off the top and let the top brown. This is going to be so, so good and this little awning thing is absolutely amazing. I can come out here in the rain and do my cooking. Phew, look at that. That went up quick. I need to pull some wood back. I'm having a lot of fun out here. Underneath this tarp, I had to put the blue one behind me so that uh, the rain couldn't get in because it's starting to rain pretty hard. Sitting out here by my rocket stove using my little Coleman oven. And it is a little bit harder to keep it, you know, the temperature I want, but just gotta keep moving the wood around and watching it. And I can't wait to see how this turns out. I really hope it's gonna be good. Look at that beautiful fire. 
I just love this thing. It works so, so good. Let's see what the temperature is. Yep, right, just about 350. It could stand to get a little bit hotter, but I just added a bunch of wood, so it's probably going to go up to about 375. So, we've just got a little while longer. 30 minutes is up. Time to open this baby up and check and see what kind of progress we've made. Let's take this out of here very carefully. I'm going to have to... Uh, yeah, let me use two hands. That is cooking just as planned, so I'm going to put it back into the oven and let it finish up and let it brown. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, that's going to be so, so delicious. And I imagine the temperature dropped quite a bit there. Oh, not too bad. Let me go stoke that fire and get it up back up to at least 350. The timer has gone off and it is officially time to see if this beautiful creation of mine is ready. And I think it is. Oh yes. Look at that. Let me get it out. Perfect. Alrighty, I'm going to just let this cool for a little bit and then I'm going to cut it up and plate it up. I cannot wait to taste this. This thing works great on the rocket stove, but you know what? You really got to keep, you know, looking at the temperature and stoking the fire or pulling back the logs or whatever, but you can definitely bake in it. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty good. At least it does to me. It might not be to you guys, but it looks really good because I know this is going to taste good. Well, there's only one thing left to do, and that is taste it. All right, here we go. Yep, the noodles are done perfect. The cheese is melted. The top is slightly browned. Mmm. Denny Lime Green. Oh my gosh. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that. Mmm. This is delicious. I think just about anybody would like this, unless you don't like feta cheese or dandelion greens or chicken. And honestly, I hate to eat in front of you guys, so <laughs> that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.